Dang. I probably was a little, little overzealous with the, that wedge I cut, the face on. That was pretty good. First, we visually inspect all of our PPE. Safety glasses, check. Safety screen, check. Helmet, check. Earmuffs, check. Gloves, check. Chaps, check. We're ready to rock. All right, let's go check out this tree. We'll get an idea of which way it wants to fall. It's been a long time coming. We waited a little too long. A lot of limbs in the top are dead. So this is officially a hard hat zone. Check the fluids. Top her off. I want to run out of gas when it counts the most. Get some fresh oil in here. Got a new bar. I want to make sure we keep her nice and lubed up. Let's see. Perfect. Damn it. Alright, let's see, get some ideas. See how this thing's gonna fall. Oh boy. Did you bring your plumb bob with you? So when I look at a tree, you obviously look at it, try to figure out your sense of plumbness. Then you can see which way it's leaning, which way it's gonna fall. Good thing about being right here, we can pretty much drop any way we want because it's not there's not really any vital structures around here. Ideally, we like to keep from getting hung up because there is a lot of trees around here. So we kind of get an idea about that. When you do that, you have to see which way it's leaning, obviously, but you also have to look where the mass of the trees at. And something that's gonna affect this tree falling is those two big limbs. They're leaning off that way. Looks like the tree is actually leaning more back that way towards you and towards all these other trees. So that kind of sucks because I would just fall it, fell it that way, but it's going to get hung up in that big oak over there and that's going to be a disaster because it's going to break all my limbs. It's going to be a mess. But with all that mass, maybe we could get it to fall that way and then fall right through that clearing. And if it does that, it'll hit those limbs and maybe it won't get caught up. So maybe with the mass of those big old limbs up there, we could make that happen. We did a right notch on it and some wedges but boy it wants to it wants to go that way so bad which we might could get it no that's gonna be a disaster if it don't fall the way we want to you got to scrap this video you know that, right <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to wedge it somehow because it's gonna want to fall back as soon, as soon as i go put that cut on it cut back here it's gonna start leaning back this way unless i put a big face on it but even then i don't know even then this is gonna be I need to get my wedges it might twist off and fall that way, but if it does, just uh, look back once, get a visual on it, and go the opposite way. Or at least uh, get away from it. Come on, still, don't let us down now.
steel chainsaws off. I tell you, them, them steel chainsaws run like a scalded hound. Well, that was pretty close to where we wanted it. Best case scenario, but it didn't damage my other tree too bad. Put a really big face on it. Hardly had to use the wedge. I hit the wedge one time over necessary and uh, you saw it. I barely had to do anything else and it went. Woo! Thought about drilling, pumping. All right, let's clean. Uh, Let's clean it up, all right? But as you can see, this tree was disease ridden. The woodpeckers had had a field day on it and I hate to destroy their habitat, but that tree was getting more and more dangerous by the day. Whew. When we put this on the sawmill on a future episode, please check it out. You'll see the pine beetles will come crawling out of this thing and they've already worked on it pretty good. So I'm gonna knock the rest of these little limbs off. We'll get a tape on it and we'll cut it up into some sections. to go get the back cut and get this cleaned up thank you lord just want to say for keeping us safe giving us wood to work with and for giving us a beautiful day man we're lucky 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 lucky
done, team. And that's how you take down a pine beetle infested dead tree and put it at the sawmill. Stay tuned, we'll saw that into some big six by six. No, we're gonna cut these into eight by eight. So let's see how big the logs are. Air dryer the way through. You can see that one's got about 17 inches of cutting. That's the thinnest part of that, so don't do nothing to get bigger that way. And then this one, about 15.